Hey guys, uh, <clears throat> I thought I'd let this finish off cam obviously. I uh, just hopped in and uh, yeah, we got next one. We obviously need to wait for this field to grow. Which could take a while, so I don't have much to do until obviously that is done. Um, but we do have a topic today. Obviously, like, well, what I was supposed to say on the end of the last one, which I didn't because I ended up fucking up the video. Swore again when I didn't mean to, but yeah. Uh, I messed up the last video of obviously that last bit. I forgot to plug my mic back in so it didn't record my voice, which was smart. So, yeah. Uh, it ended up being a time lapse in the end, all because I messed up. But, uh, yeah. Uh, what I said is I think I am gonna, if, if like, if you want to, you can message me in with problem whatever and I will try my best to help and this video may have a lot of background noise because my boiler has just kicked in and unfortunately I am in my bedroom contains the boiler and it is quite loud um, but yeah obviously we have a topic this time which uh, which, uh is a uh, is good because <clears throat> obviously I said I wanted a topic and I wanted to be able to do stuff uh, I had a good well an old friend talking to me about it on Facebook I went into it briefly with him just explaining my uh, my views but it's about depression and stress <clears throat> which obviously hits quite close to home because I have suffered from a mild case of depression and a hell of a lot of stress so yeah um, Basically, let's just borderline stress is obviously. No, I don't want part of this here, do I? Stress is obviously bad, <laughs> but obviously you get it from either your job or just other problems you seem to encounter as you go along. You get stress from a lot of things, obviously schoolwork, keeping up with coursework, all that stuff. Uh, well, if you have like a career, that can cause you stress. Uh, anything really can cause you stress. Having a bad relationship you're not happy with, all this sort of stuff can cause you some sort of stress. Um, and yeah, uh, it's not good. It 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 really isn't the best feeling you can ever have. And once it comes, you know it's come because it. Well, when you get to the stage where I was, I was <clears throat> really bad. I was almost on antidepressants because of how bad my stage eventually got to um, because yeah I had a a thing where uh, yeah I ha I'm not gonna get into that because that is personal on a personal level I did have some sort of thing going on which is why I ended up leaving obviously that meet back in uh, when was it that was quite a while ago now but yeah that's why uh, Ended up having to go home. And what we're gonna do? Just talk about the game here a second. We are gonna borrow. We're gonna borrow some money so I can buy a better tractor. Uh, we'll just take out a 200 grand loan. Screw it. Why not? Uh, right. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna buy a better tractor because I want a better tractor for the thing. Uh, but yeah, the uh, the pressure. It's it's uh it can be borne by lots of many things. Obviously, it doesn't always have to be. We'll buy this tractor. It doesn't have to be anything specific. It can be literally anything that you that upsets you or just gets you all worked up or something like that. Um, my honest opinion is obviously it's 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 definitely not a good feeling. It's definitely. Yeah, it's it's not fun. It's not enjoyable for anybody, and you obviously can't don't want to get to the stage where you feel like you have to change or well, obviously stress can be caused by change. It can also be because you need to change whatever. It all depending on what it is. Uh, obviously, if you've got a bad job, you don't like it. I mean, there are worse things in the world. You could be homeless. I mean, at least at least you got a job. At least you got some sort of money coming in. You could be homeless. You could be completely screwed that way. But you know, you you don't like your job, but at least you've got one. If you think of it that way, I know you're, it can be stressful as hell your job, but it can be a hell of a lot more being more stressed out by not having a job and getting into debt, which is why my stress was brought along mainly because of debt. But <laughs> that's finally coming for me, since I'm only 19 and I'm in debt. 
but yeah it's, it's not good it's, it's definitely something to try if you can get out of quick because obviously I only had mild depression but stress is the main stress can end up killing you depending on how much obviously you let it get to you and how much you end up getting worked up about it and yeah this video is going to be quite boring to what you're going to be watching because it is just going to be me making silage pretty much since I got nothing else to do really oh, but yeah it, it can it can completely destroy you in a way obviously you could it can cool stop you from functioning all this other stuff I mean that's not that's a very bad case of it but it can like what I had at one point I was feeling like I was ill but whenever it came to it, I was fine. There was nothing wrong with me. I just felt like crap. Um, there's obviously, yeah, there's obviously, and then it can. When you're stressed, you become tired a lot, and then when you become tired, you become more stressed, and you get then you know if you're tired, you're getting ill, you're getting stressed, you're not going to work, you're getting less money, which means your money problems getting worse. For example, which is then causing more stress, which then just becomes a vic vicious cycle of then just making yourself all wound up and eventually slowly doing yourself no favors and ending up, you know, in a much worse state than you should have, that it could have been, all because you got worked up about something, which I don't know, obviously you're going to get worked up by it, but you have to try and, yeah, try and take a step back and find out what the stress is being caused. Obviously, coming from my view, I have a girlfriend, I am happy, so, you know, I am. But if you're not happy in a relationship, then there's only one thing you can really do, and that is, I mean, it may not be the easiest thing to do, but if you're really that unhappy and you're struggling that much, then it's not worth your pain. When it comes to yourself, you have to be selfish, is what I've always told my mate. It, when it comes to how you feel and how it affects you, you have no choice but to be selfish. I mean, yeah, it may not be the best thing for ev well, it may not be the best thing for other people involved, but you can completely run yourself out just because you're trying to please everybody else all the time. So, like I said to him, if you're in a bad relationship, I'm there's, you may not want to hear it, but <clears throat> the only thing you really can do is get out. You, there's, there's no other way of, you know, no other way of making yourself happy or keeping yourself calm or whatever and you're getting this worked up you have to get out you can't keep doing that to yourself because you end up then making yourself worse and you build it up and you build it up and then one day even if you you know it could be one little thing she says to you and you could end up just flipping making a whole big thing out of something you could have sorted out a long time ago it's just saying this as a woman I mean with money problems you could end up well, I, I, that's my main problem is money. That is what has been on my mind recently with stress. And then I ended up taking out an overdraft. I ended up going into my overdraft. I ended up getting a credit card. I ended up using my credit card to pay off my overdraft. And then using my overdraft then to start paying off my credit card. And it all just became a vicious circle from that. And now at the moment, well, I am, I'm not going to say how much in debt because I'm not as this personal. I, but I am in some sort of debt. I have uh, sorted out slightly. I am a... Uh, slowly getting through it and getting it all sorted um, it is it's taking a while obviously everything takes a while but you've got to think of yourself you can keep just struggling and trying to keep other people happy when you can't even keep yourself happy you can't maintain yourself you can't maintain a healthy relationship or whatever else as well if you can't keep yourself fit and healthy then something's gonna have to change so you can sort yourself out before you go on to helping other people. I mean, other pe they may not like it. I mean, sometimes if people are coming to you a lot for advice, you may have to look up and say, well, at the moment I have my own problems. I I'm sorry, I would like to help you. But at the moment, with my own problems going on, I would have... I can't. Uh, I mean, you got to be selfish when it comes to you. you got to be all about yourself there's no point in looking up going oh yeah but I was helping him and then I flipped and I, that's why now I'm you know I'm now fucked I'm now robbing because I have no money but because all this other stuff because I didn't think of myself I didn't try and sort myself out and I let other people 
feel like I owed uh, made other people feel made me feel like I owed them and this sort of shit. Um, saying that, I mean, obviously, I'm not saying let's say if it is money wise, don't don't be a boring shit and not go out anywhere. I mean, I'm not saying that at all, obviously, but spend what you've got when you can. Obviously, you have a week when you have a spare twenty pound or whatever. Go treat yourself to I don't know. I don't know, a quick pop around the corner shop or whatever, go, oh, no, obviously, not. obviously, go, I don't know, meet up with your mate for a quick beer in the local pub or whatever, just go, you can still treat yourself that way, just get out, and that you will find eventually, even though you're spending still, you're with good mates, you're with good people, surrounded by people you love or whatever, you will... Right, I had, I had to pause that because my controller died and I'm not sure how much of that was actually picked up by the headset by restart just in case so I don't lose anything again. Um, but yeah, uh, you have to be selfish to yourself. You can't go around trying to please other people when you can't help yourself and you'll find in time, obviously, you may not, you may get a lot less, but you'll find that then when you do go out, the times are more special, the times are more, you know, you'll find that, yeah, they'll be going out every other weekend, whatever, without you. Sometimes you may be able to tag along if they offer to pay for you, whatever, all this stuff, but in the end, it comes down to what you can handle. Obviously, if you need some sort of help, you could probably even ask your mates to help you or whatever, just help you get back on your feet, help you feel better about yourself. Even if it's them coming over and having, I don't know, a few beers at your place, they like bring over, not even, not even beers, if, you do, if they come over and play a game with you or whatever, they come over, just keep you occupied, keep your mind off of it. And that's all you need. You have good time, keep your mind off it, that's all you need to keep healthy. You don't, it's, when you're thinking about it, it's making it worse. And when you think about it, making it worse, you're making it worse still. Which is why, you know, it gets worse. It ends up making it uh, ten times worse because you let it eat at you. I mean, I know it's hard to avoid it. You let it eat at you, you end up now on happy tablets just because you couldn't, you couldn't cope anymore, all this stuff. I mean, I, well, I was at that stage ages ago, and then I got to another point where I was, well, I started, when I first left school was when I first started feeling stressed, when uh, my mum and dad broke up, that, that had not much to do with it, but obviously with school, all that stuff, that just was, oh, kind of tipped it over, problems with my ex, whatever, I know my current member still watches, and I love you, but, that's, but yeah, problems with that, and it, yeah, it all builds on you, it all, and then it all after a while takes its toll, and then you could end up blaming the people you shouldn't be taking out on people you shouldn't be taking out on because it has nothing to do with them. But you may end up taking out on the wrong people, losing friends, which makes things worse, breaking up with your girlfriend even though you didn't want to, unless obviously she's the problem, which then you might want to. But it will all it all feeds into one, and then you end up with less. You end up getting more stressed because you've now lost a good mate. You've now lost your relationship that you've held down for 12 years, whatever, it's just a random, random number. Um, you've now lost completely everything. Because you let it get to you, and you let it eat at you. And then you took out on the wrong person because you were wouldn't talk to them when you had the chance to try and sort things out, and you waited and waited and waited. I mean, I'm like, I couldn't tell my parents anything when I was going through all this stuff, I couldn't... They were going through enough, I was, you know, I thought I could handle it myself, and I ended up almost killing myself, and cutting myself, just to make myself feel better, which I've stopped now, I've stopped completely, and I actually have a, a select group of uh, close friends that, you know, have really helped me, and they're, uh, you know, it's just great having that sort of surrounding and being able to uh, go out on the weekend or whatever, get invited out on the weekend. I mean, even if you don't go out, just the invite. The fact that you've been invited out and they're thinking of you. Just a quick text saying, oh, going bowling, for example, if you want to tag along, give me a, just, you know, let us know. Just little things like that, let pe people know that you're, you know. Knowing that they are, your mates are thinking about you, and obviously, you may not be able to go every time, but at least the invite's there, you know you haven't been completely forgotten about. Obviously good mates, even if 
Even if they, you don't go out and they get annoyed at you not going out when they invite you. Good mates would understand that you don't have the funds, you don't have the ability, you can't physically go out because you're, you know, you're making yourself sick. And then they may either change plans, come see you, or go out and just, you know, just keep inviting you. It's just the, the fact that you're being invited, I mean, the fact that you can't go out may put you down, but the fact that you get invited and having someone sort of think about you is a good feeling. It, obviously, you have people, you know, well, let's see what he's doing. He may be able to car today. That could be better. You know, it makes it feel better. And then that people are, are still thinking about you just because you don't have the money to go out. You don't have the ability to go out. But they're not completely forgetting about you and going out and having a good time when you're there. Not able to because you don't have the funds. You don't, you're not physically able to because you're making yourself ill with this stuff. And, you know, it ends up making you feel better that the people are thinking about you. Uh, I mean, I couldn't tell nobody, but the best people to tell, obviously, if you... Best person to tell, never get a psychiatrist involved, right? People say you need to go to a shrink, get help. No. In my opinion, they just patronize and make it worse. They pick at a problem, which then makes the problem worse, and I don't... I've never... Ever thought there's been a bout break that I would be careful with going to a psychiatrist. There's nothing, I think... There's nothing I think would actually, you know, they could help you with. It's not good enough excuse in my reasons for someone to look up and go, yeah, I know how to talk to you about your problems, but I don't know you, don't know what you're going through, don't really care, you're just what, you're just money to me. You're just money in my wallet and I couldn't really give a fuck. That is my opinion, sorry, that is my honest opinion about a psychiatrist and all that sort of stuff. They don't, they don't really care if you're happy. They're just there to get your money, and I mean everyone has their opinion. Agree with me or not, that is my honest opinion. They don't help. They just, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I would happily be friends with a psychiatrist, but I would never go there for help. The best people to help, in my honest opinion, is someone close to you, either a family member or a good friend. I mean, obviously, if it's a best friend, they'll be there with you no matter what. If it's your parents, obviously they'll be there no matter what. If you're younger, I mean, even if you're older and they're still, you know, still able to, they would be the best people to talk to. I know it's harder talking because they feel like, you know, you don't want people to think you're needy. You don't want your parents to know that you're upset with all this stuff. You don't want your parents to know you're going through shit. And when everybody, and you don't want your friends obviously knowing you're going through shit when everybody has their own shit to deal with. Everybody has stuff they have to deal with, but some people, you know, sometimes you have to. I mean, this problem with my girlfriend, she had, obviously, she had problems, and if she would never go to, well, it's different, because obviously she can't talk to her mum because she's a cunt, right? Shouldn't say that word, probably shouldn't talk ill of that either, but it's it's not fair, and obviously if you can, or you can't feel like you can, there's always someone you can talk to. I mean, she's always came to me, which is fine, but she complains about it because she thinks it's not fair or whatever, but that's fine, I don't... You can talk to me, I don't care. I mean, yeah, I have my own problems, but so do you. I don't, I'm not gonna tell you to completely get out my face and I hate you because, you know, I love you and that's not what I, people do, it's not what you do when you love someone. It's not what you, well, yeah, it's not what you do. And if you do, then you clearly don't love anyone. You clearly are a shit friend, you're nothing. And you're just a selfish waste of, well, I'm not gonna say that, but you're just selfish and obviously, I know what you, if you physically can't, then you can't, right? You have to just state that. But when you just look up and go, I don't care, or piss off, I've got my own problems. I mean, yeah, everyone has their own problems, but there's an easier way to say it than just, oh, yeah, no, well, you know what, I don't actually really give a shit. I have my own stuff to deal with. Just go away, leave me alone. All that sort of stuff. But obviously, everyone has their own problems. Everybody has their own stuff to deal with. Everybody struggles once in a while. I don't care who you are, everybody has struggled or had some sort of stress it, once in their life, unless obviously you're too young, which, you know, obviously then you're an exception. But then again, just because you're young does not mean you should, you should be put through stress. I mean, not that you should, because you are young, but obviously if you're going through stress, you shouldn't be able to deal with it alone. You shouldn't have to. I mean, it's worse if, I think it's worse if a younger person gets stressed nowadays, because obviously... 
it's now the younger generation that seem to cut themselves a lot more and all this stuff they always seem to you know this younger generations now getting bullied at school that are freaking killing themselves it's always been around but you seem to hear more cases of it nowadays because they don't get no help at the school they're they don't feel they can talk to their parents all this stuff which i mean fair enough some of them you may not feel like you can i didn't think like i can didn't feel like i could ever didn't want to try because i was too scared i didn't like didn't like having to ask for permission, felt weak, all this stuff. I've been through all that. But I can tell you, once you have, it makes things a lot easier. And... Yeah. I, I am still stressed, I'm not gonna lie. I'm still... Not happy with my life, 100%. But I'm, I'm getting there a lot faster than I would have before. I feel a lot better now than when I did when I was leaving school. Uh, that was all, that was stress with sixth form. It's fine. I was never a bad kid in school, right? Obviously, in, I'm not sure if you do in America, if you're an American or whatever, but in the UK, you, in some schools, you get attendance reports and all this stuff. You get reports for behavior and all this stuff. I was never, never in all my school career was I on one until I went to sixth form, right? Sixth form is like college. Well, it is pretty much college. Didn't even have to go to sixth form, yet I got put on attendance report, that's how little I was in, because of stress, because I didn't feel like I could handle it, because sometimes I just didn't want to be there, because of the people there, because of... Yeah, I mean I had good friends there, but... I didn't feel like I could talk to them, I didn't feel like I could do anything. I didn't... Like the way... Didn't like the way I was run, didn't, wasn't happy with anything, wasn't happy with the education I was getting, wasn't happy, which then made things worse. But obviously... I mean, it's the same within a relationship. If you, if you're really not that happy in that relationship, you can't stand by and take it. I mean, you get people nowadays who are just completely out of cocks to their girlfriend, who don't deserve it. And you see yourself, you're single or whatever, and you're saying it's, you think it's not fair. But everybody, there's ever there's something for everybody, right? Yeah, you may not be, you maybe get stressed because you're single at the moment. I mean, you're single, yeah, no big deal, is it? Right? Rather be single and healthy then in a relationship that I can't handle and then I'm getting stressed and then end up slowly making myself sick because I physically can't handle it alright you may be single you may be a virgin who gives a shit <laughs> that's why I don't see I mean I'm saying that I take my work one of my work colleagues is a guy is a bird oh, I'm not gonna say it but he's, he's yeah oh, I take the <laughs> we all take the well he gets the piss taken out of him, but he takes it as a joke. It's never meant spitefully, because obviously it's friends. That's what friends do, friendly banter and all that stuff. It's never meant to be as an attack. It's never meant for it to hurt or anything like that. You know, it's never never done out of spite. Obviously, he says shit back. But my brother gets involved, because obviously I work in the same place as him. He says shit to each one of us and everything. It's just a, a cycle like that, which obviously with good friends you can do and you can handle. But it's not nice when someone out of the blue comes up and starts saying all this stuff. But I understand how that feels. But there's nothing wrong with being a virgin anyway. Especially if you're a girl. Right? But if, if, you, if you're, say, you're over the age of 16 and you're still a virgin, right? I have mass respect for you. Fuck, if you're fucking, yeah, if you're over the age of 16 you still have your fucking virginity. I've got mass respect for you because obviously I know what peer pressure all this shit, people are always like, oh yeah, you're a virgin, you're you're nothing, no one wants you, you're single because you're a virgin, all this stuff. You know, isn't true, you're not single because you're a virgin, you're single because you haven't found the right one for you yet. Right? You're a virgin because you haven't found the one that you want to give it to. Just because you haven't given it out, or you're not well used, you haven't had 15 blokes by the time you're 18, or whatever, does not mean you're a shit, I mean even if you have, doesn't mean you're a shit person. I mean, people get called slags nowadays, which makes things worse, but no, it's just... Uh, the way I see it, younger people now have grown up with a different impersonation where they feel like they have to have sex, they have to do stuff like that to get respect, to get, obviously, to feel like someone loves them. Because they're not, not, not at home, but at school, kids are cunts, right? <laughs> kids are shit. And some just happen to be worse than others. I'm not saying all kids are shit, but... Well, no, you know what? Yeah, I am. Everybody's shit. Everybody at one point is a cunt to somebody, right? I'm not gonna lie, I have been. 
pretty sure you watching this have been at least at one point in your life, right? Everybody is a cunt to everybody. You look after yourselves and the loved ones. And then, you know, it's like saying fucking... You don't know them, all this shit. Well, yeah, but you don't know anyone you start off with. You don't care about them because you don't know them. Yeah, well, if everyone thought like that, nobody would have anybody because the first person that looked up to you when you first met him could have been, oh, I don't know him. He looks like a fat prick. I don't want to talk to him. Oh, I don't know him. He's still got his virginity. He must be an unloved prick. All this sort of stuff. He must be, there must be something wrong with him. He's not had sex. He's still blah, blah, blah. He's, you know, uh, it, it sickens me, that rocks quite frankly. Kids today are getting a hell of a lot worse, which is why kids obviously are starting to have committed suicide in the past recently. I mean, I'm not saying it hasn't happened before, but it seems to become more common occurrence now. You hear more younger people feeling like they have to. What have I got, corn? Because uh, they can't talk, they don't feel like they can talk to anybody, or they're getting crap at school, and they don't like it. And I don't blame them. Because it is shit, right? I've been there, I got bullied in school, I was called a fat cunt for ages, I... Thankfully, I still get called a fat shit all this stuff, but I've learnt to... Get over it, kind of thing. I've learnt that they're my good mates anyway. The one saying it to me, obviously. And, yeah, if you don't like it, go away. This all ties into the online bullying thing, why people get stressed about, about that. The thing I've never got about online bullying, how can you bully someone online, right? I mean, obviously, yeah, you look up, oh, yeah, you're a fat prick. You message me through Facebook saying you're a prick. Oh, that's cool. But things get that hard, right? They look up and say, I know where you live as a threat to scare you so you stay on. Chances are they have no idea. And even if they are, what are they going to do, right? When they come over, you know who it is then. Right? And then what are they going to do then? The ch I don't get... When people get dark, what, say, you know, internet bullies and all that stuff, I don't get how it's, it's hard nowadays to just simply look up, unfriend them, and block them on Facebook, for example. You don't have to sit there and take that crap. You don't want to hear their crap. Simply block them. They can't see your stuff anymore. You can't see, you, they can't send you messages, anything like that. Right? I know, obviously, it's all scaring you, get you right in your head saying, you know, where they live, they're going to attack your family, all this stuff, and it, it does get to you. But, it's, I don't, I've never got how internet bullying can work, right? Like, people can't just think, well, you're the other side of a computer, you're fucking somewhere in America. How are you going to get to me? You know? I mean, people are good with Photoshop nowadays. You could even look up and say, yeah. Like, like if someone took a picture of you with your top off, say you're a guy or whatever. You could always look up and go, well, they must have just went through my Facebook. I, don't, I mean, it's going to be harder to get away with that, but you could look up and say, they've went from my Facebook, they must have stole a picture and just stuck it on some woman's body. Or something like that, they've stuck it on a man's body and he's fat, all this stuff. I mean, it is... People are becoming worse, and... Yeah, the world is shit nowadays. But you've got to look after yourself. If you're getting all this stuff on Facebook, even if you delete your Facebook, it doesn't matter. You have your closest friends, you have your phone number. You just give them your phone number, you tell them not to hand it out. You have, if you, then even if you lose friends with people, you can ring up a service provider nowadays and get the number blocked. You can get antivirus protection for a phone and get their numbers blocked. But, hell, even if you can't do that, you can change your SIM card and get a new number. Right? Yes. There's a lot of things you can do to try and counter everything. But yeah, the, the main story was obviously depression and stress. Depression obviously can lead into stress, and stress can lead into depression. Well, obviously, if you're in a bad relationship you don't like, you may not want to hear it, but it may be best to end things. you are got a job you don't like. Oh, just think of it this way. Either... If you have bills to pay, right, do something about it. You either... You stick it out, and the job you got now, whilst hunting for a new one, don't complain... Well, you obviously... Complain all you like, I don't really care, right? But don't sit there when you're not doing anything complaining that you don't like your job, your boss is shit, you're getting no money, do something about it. Hunt for something. Look for something. I know it's hard, the economy's crap, but that's nothing stopping you from hunting, is there? And chances are you could find something better. You could find something worse. Right? It's all part of experiment. It's all life. But if you don't like the job you're in now, what is the point in staying? Right? 
if you don't like the relationship, I'm sorry, you know, you may have been together three years, but you can't handle it, then I'm sorry, then you have to obviously end it as well. There's nothing you really can do to stop that. Shit happens, you know, and unfortunately, it does, but yeah, you just need to try and for fight through it. Uh, you'll feel a lot better, you'll feel a lot more accomplished when you can get through the stress. You can get that better job or whatever, you can get... I mean, even if you fight for a better relationship, lay it all out on the table before you end things. This is what I don't like about, this is what, you know, I feel we've done wrong. Can we try this more? If not, then, you know, she clearly doesn't care, or he does clearly doesn't care. Then you're going to have to end it. I mean, yeah, you've been given for years, but they're not willing to help you have a better life than not have willing to make it easier for both of you, well then they ain't worth it, I'm afraid. If they're not willing to try and make the commitment and help you and help them in turn, then you know it ain't worth it ain't worth it ain't worth getting worked up. It ain't worth feeling like crap just because someone feels they have the power over you. Because someone feels like they own you, they can control you they know what you're like, they know stuff about you, which they probably don't, right? I could look up and say to someone, I know that you slept with blah blah. Chances are I get 50-50, chances are I get right, chances are I don't. Chances are I look up and go, I know that you slept with that person and you were lying, you didn't sleep with them, you're just lying to get attention. Chances are I could be right, chances are I'm wrong, right? Doesn't matter. Uh, chances are I could look up and go, you're gay, and you end up being gay. Chances are I look up saying, oh wow, you look like a paedophile, and you end up being a paedophile. Right? It all ties in the one. Right? It doesn't... Ju don't judge a book by its cover. Just because someone looks funny, or they look... or they sound funny, or whatever, doesn't mean they should be treated different, doesn't mean they should have a shitter life just because you think it's funny. Or you shouldn't be treated that way because people think it's funny, kind of thing. You should have a right to live your own life and be able to feel like you can live your own life and not have to be put down just because of the way you look, whatever. It's, people are crap, but you got to weed through the dicks to find the right people and you will eventually. But uh, I think, yeah, that's about all I got time for now. It has overran a little bit, because I normally try and make these videos half hour, but I just made it up a little extra for what we missed out last time, because I messed up. But yeah, uh, I mean, obviously, if you want to send, if you want to, if you want to see me talk about anything, if you just want to put a comment or whatever, or even just message the YouTube inbox, whatever, I will try and check them. If you want me to talk about anything, just put it there, I will try and help the best I can. This is the best, like, this is what I told him. Obviously, he was having troubles with his girlfriend. And as of yet, I haven't had anything back. He was said he's, he said he's going to be talking to her at the end of the week, right? So, I'll see at the end of the week if he's still together, if he's single, but in the long run, it hurts at first, but in the long run, it's better for you, right? Short-term shit, long-term good. It's all matters yes you've you know you've been through a lot together you've liked the company of each other but you feel like you've grown apart well nothing saying you can't be friends still nothing saying you shouldn't you know you shouldn't still talk you shouldn't still be close I mean obviously it's hard when couples break up to stay friends because it feels like you, there's no point because you put all that effort in before and now just because you're not going out with what makes you think they're gonna talk to you and stuff but you move along, right? You find people, you find new friends, you'll make... School friends are nothing, really. Unless you have best friends that you see regularly. I wouldn't get too attached, right? If they're... If you don't class as a best friend, then expect to lose them, right? I mean, expect to lose your best friends. But as they're your best friends, they have a ch They will... If they are really your best friends, they will come back no matter what. You may not talk for a week and then come back, right? Try not get too worked up about it, but yeah, that's all I've got time for. I hope I've helped in any sort of way, just talking about how I feel about it. Obviously, I have been going through it. This is my honest opinion, right? You're not happy, you have to change things. Even if in the short term it's bad, the long term, you will end up feeling a lot healthier. You'll be able to do a lot more things. You will feel better with yourself. You will feel more accomplished, all this stuff. You will feel better that you changed 
then worse because you didn't. So yeah, that's all I got time for. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you, I hope this helps in any sort of way. I hope you like, subscribe, and if you have any problems, comment whatever what you feel like. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, have a lovely evening.